Well, summer can be a very, very hot time. And honestly, dressing up while it's this hot, it's almost impossible. What is up you guys? This is Jose Zuniga from Teaching Men's Fashion. And for this week's video, we're gonna be talking about five summer outfits. So, like I said, it's really hard. Not, it's not hard. It's almost like you don't want to dress up when it's 95 plus degrees outside. It hit, it hit 105 last week. So, in this week's video, we're going to be talking about some tips that you can do in the summer. In the meantime, showing you five summer inspired outfits. Now, this is Friday's video. So, this video is brought to you by the Fifth Watches. If you like the Fifth Watches, I'll have a link down below with a discount code just for you guys because you're a viewer, you can get them at a discounted price. So now let's get into the five outfits that you can rock this summer. Okay, so for the first outfit, it's where you just saw me talking in. We're gonna be putting on this really nice plaid brown gingham shirt and pair it with these really strong electric blue linen pants. So the first tip for summer that I'm gonna give you is choose the right cloth. Notice that how my clothing is very light, very lightweight and breathable. Linen is probably your best friend during summer. Wearing these pants, I can wear these in 100 plus degree weather and be fine. Here's a second look under that same theme of choosing the right clothing. Again, I picked up some comfortable chinos and a nice light washed denim shirt. Now here's a really cool tip. This shirt is actually three years old and the collar is just, it was really bad and flimsy and stuff. And it was like in the, actually in the back of my closet. So what I did is I actually clipped the collar off and it made it a nice and casual shirt. Now I, I wear it all the time. Of course, don't forget to roll up your sleeves. This really helps during the summer heat. And I also paired it with some canvas Chuck Taylors. Next, we have a really cool summer look. Again, here I'm wearing my H&M shirts from my $100 challenge. Uh, this is, I think these shorts already have two washes and they're still holding up pretty well. So they look pretty good so far. And I paired it with a nice white polo shirt. These are probably some of my favorite polo shirts. I've talked about them before. And then at the bottom, I ended it up with my Stan Smith uh, Adidas, which I just happen to be wearing all the time now. All right, so for look number three, I combined two items from my $100 challenges. The polo shirt is actually from my H&M challenge. The polo shirt already has one wash, I believe, and it's, you can kind of see that it's kind of getting ugly already. If you notice, the stretch band isn't as stretchy and it's kind of like all stretched out already after one wash, but the chinos are holding up well. These chinos are from the Target $100 challenge I did, and they have about three washes. So, and they look really great still. All right, so for the final look, I decided to go with a more dressed up summer look. Again, it's still very cool. I paired it with some very light navy chinos, a nice gingham shirt, rolled it up, put on a blacked out watch and black wingtip. So I look very formal, but I'm still actually very cool and relaxed. This is great for a summer night and almost any day. Now notice that I did go socksless, or at least I look like I'm going socksless, but I'm actually wearing no-show socks. I really don't recommend going fully socksless. No-show socks are the best way to go. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit up the like up button. Really helps me out. Also remember to subscribe. We're putting tons of new content out every week and really trying to push the envelope with new creative content. So help us out, subscribe. Also check out our sponsor down below, The Fifth Watches. Great watch company. They have an amazing watch at an even more amazing price point. So I'll have them linked down below with the discount code. That's it for me in this video. See you next time.